Hey everyone, it's Andy Zitzman, founder of the Game Time Movement, where I'm on a mission to helping you and one million other people step up your game. In this short three to five minutes every day, I'm going to provide you with inspiration, motivation, and empowering information so that you can wake up, have a little pick-me-up, get fired up so that you step up on a daily basis. So get ready, because it's time, it's your time, it's game time. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Andy Zitzman, and welcome to today's show. Today is the 1st of December, and we got a show to remember. That's right, because you know what? Today, I stand here with my beautiful future mother-in-law, Linda Pickens, and Linda is going to share with us a personal story of inspiration and hope. And so before we get started, I just want to share with you a little bit um, about what I know about Linda. So Linda is the mother of two. She's a wonderful woman. She's a God-fearing woman. She's a great, great cook, (laughs) a great wife. And I'll tell you what, I'm a really lucky guy to have her as my future mother-in-law. And Linda is also a survivor. And so for everyone out there, you know, you can see that Linda and I are wearing our hats today. And so this is dedicated to anyone that is either a cancer survivor or has a family member or a friend that's a cancer survivor because Linda is a cancer survivor. And Linda, you know, overcame breast cancer just four years ago at the age of 67. And so today, you know, Linda, thank you for coming on the show. I can't wait for you to share with us a little bit about your experience and what you learned about, you know, what happens in life when you get knocked down and you got to get back up. So if you could just share a little bit about, you know, what happened to you and how you overcame, we'd really appreciate that inspiration and hope today, Linda. Well, when you first find out that you indeed have cancer, it's like being um, polar flexed, I guess you'd say. You know, it really knocks you down. Mm -hmm. And then um, you just think, hey, am I going to have faith or am I going to have fear? And which is it going to be? And I chose to have faith, faith that it was all going to be okay. Wow. Yeah. You know, so we talk a lot about fear, you know, uh, in the show and really just, you know, um, this show is mainly for entrepreneurs, you know, and as an entrepreneur in the business world, we have fear, but you know, that's in business. And when something in life hits us, I mean, I can only imagine the difference in the level of that fear. And so essentially what you said is you had a choice to make either fear or faith and you chose faith. Exactly. And I know you're a woman of faith, you know, so feel sure to fa- uh, feel share. <laughs> feel free to share with us a little bit about your faith and and what that means to you. Well, it's what got me through day by day. Um, As you take each chemo treatment, you become physically weaker and weaker, and you end up where walking is is really a trial, and eating becomes a trial. Nothing tastes good. Mm -hmm. And um, I had my husband who was beside me every moment. I had a dear friend who walked with me. And after each treatment, I, of course, I was able to walk shorter and shorter distances Mm -hmm. and kept losing strength. And you eventually end up where your point where um, just getting out of bed is is a trial. So I did a lot of reading and uh, my reading of uh, my scripture and my uh, Bible study lessons kept me moving forward with my faith. Wow. Yeah. You know, and there is a, a quote in the Bible that says, you know, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. And I actually shared that a couple episodes ago. And so if I could just kind of like summarize a little bit of what you did. So you had had to face fear and then ultimately choose faith, you know, and there's also a saying that says, and the flip side of fear is faith. So that's really cool that you did that. So, and, but you didn't get us quit there. You didn't just throw your arms up in there and said, you know, God help me. And, uh, you know, I I hope everything's going to be okay. You actually took some action. So you asked for help. You leaned on your husband, Lee. Mm-hmm. You asked for help from a friend. I did. You went on, a, you know, went walking with her when you could, mm-hmm. physically were capable. And then you also chose to fill your spirit and your mind with some positive words by reading from the Bible or from other positive books and things like that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And you can say either uh, I'm down for the punch or I'm going to move forward. Mm-hmm. Feel pitiful or move forward. Wow. Down for the punch or move forward. 
feel pitiful or move forward. You know, I know a lot of our listeners and watchers can I can can identify with that because you know, regardless, you know, whether you're whether it's cancer or a business setback or maybe a health setback, maybe you know, people out there today they're in debt and they're trying to move forward. You know, whatever it is for you that has knocked you down, and you know, you know that you need to get back up. You know that you need to move forward, and you know that if you stay in your own pity party, nothing's going to happen. The first thing you got to do, in the words of Linda Pickens, is you got to look at that fear and, and, and look at that faith and choose faith, that's, right? That's right. And once you choose faith, you then got to take some action, you know? And so, you know, we're wearing hats today because, you know, Linda shared with me how dreadful it was, you know, as a beautiful woman uh, to lose her hair as well. And so, you know, why don't you share with us a little bit about this hat that you have and how you dealt with losing your hair and, and, uh, and what that meant for you as well. Well, my, my gorgeous daughter um, bought me my first hat, and she got one with a lot of bling bling like this on it. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up with quite a collection of hats. I never did buy a, a wig. I just plop on a, a cap, and away I would go. And so uh, that's why the hat's here. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm really appreciative that you brought the hat. And, you know, I know your daughter, she is a beautiful, caring woman. And, uh, you know, and I uh, just very lucky that you chose your your faith over your fear, because four years ago, I didn't know you. And uh, I wouldn't know you if you didn't choose your faith over your fear and that you are a survivor. You're a thriver. And, uh, you know, how this relates to everyone else out there is this. Here's the deal. You know, as we get older in life, things are going to happen. You know, we're going to lose friends. We're going to lose family members. We're going to lose businesses. We're going to have setbacks. We're going to have, you know, um, setbacks in health, relationships, you name it. It's just a matter of life, right? And so in the words of Linda Pickens, a cancer survivor and now a thriver, you know, the, the, simple, the simple word is this. When you get knocked down, accept it and get back up. And so with, I don't want to be the one that ends this show. So Linda, why don't you just go ahead and just give us one final you know, piece of wisdom in terms of what you do when you get knocked down. Lean on your faith. Lean on your faith. Lean on your faith. Uh, I think you just titled the show. I love you. Mwah. It's time. You know it's your time. That if you're knocked down, you got to get back up and lean on your faith. On the count of three, can we give them a little game time? You bet. One, two, three, it's game, game time. time. <laughs> hey, thanks for tuning in today, and thanks for stepping up your game. Here's what you can do to spread the movement. Go to GameTimeMovement.com and be sure to share your Game Time Moment of the Day, your GMOTD, so that others will feel compelled to share their Game Time Moments too. And if you haven't already, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher Radio, and please be so kind to leave a rating and review so that we can reach 1 million people and encourage them to step up their game too. This is Andy Zitzman reminding you, it's your time, it's game time, till next time.